Brought to you in part by Mountain View Auto Group. Prepare for the off-road. And also by Clearwater Lights. See the difference. Hello and welcome to Amazing Life. I'm back. I'm finally back in the in the camp. It's been a while, so I had all these plans for snow camping and 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 all this stuff in January. My father had some some health issues that he had that we had to deal with and help him with. And then I got I caught COVID. It definitely changed my my plans a little bit. Finally back out here. This is the Sourwood Campground in Cherokee National Forest. It's a fantastic campground. You can get here pretty much by road. I mean, there's like a, it's dirt once you get into the campground, but other than that, it's road. Beautiful road right by North River. It's a fantastic place for those who are motorcyclists or four wheel uh, that are looking to access a lot of great uh, trails in this area. I'm out here in order to film a commercial uh, for Clearwater Lights. And so I thought I'd bring you along and uh, record a little bit of, of kind of where I'm shooting and some of the, the, the trail that I'm shooting. Those uh, local uh, to this area will know the trail that I'm gonna be shooting as, we call it guardrail trail, uh, primarily because it comes out at the end at a guardrail from behind a guardrail. It's an awesome trail. It's great for a motorcyclist or for four wheel. Uh, it's got some technical area, but it's also got just some just really beautiful um, spots. So I thought it would be a great place to highlight some of the benefit of having a quality light on your either motorcycle or Jeep. And so that's kind of my plan uh, for the next couple days. And hopefully you'll enjoy uh, what you see from your side of it. And then of course, to watch the, the, the commercial, uh, I'll post that below and you can check out that on Clearwater's commercial site. All right, so I'm gonna get camp set up and I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm cheating a little bit for dinner tonight, and it's also gotten a little uh, cooler. <clears throat> so what I'm fixing is beef brisket, stuffed mushrooms, and wilted spinach, and I'm gonna put that on uh, a bun, make a sandwich, and then have my mushrooms. So <clears throat> didn't exactly cook the beef brisket. It came from Costco, but I knew I was gonna be short on time tonight, and still a still feels like a home cooked meal so this is a southwest sauce that holly makes it is absolutely fantastic. It's made out of buttermilk, <clears throat> and it is phenomenal. It is one of our favorites. I forgot. Hi, also gave me some sprouts. Okay, dinner is served time to eat. So normally I'd have a fire going and I would sit and eat my dinner by the fire, but um, there's another couple in the camp. They have a blazing fire and they invited me over. So I told them that I'd go ahead and fix dinner and have dinner and then I'll come over and join them. 
um, for the fire. I feel very short at this table. I gotta get a bigger chair. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. It's like the easiest meal ever. I'm gonna have a nice meal here. And then head over to socialize with them a little bit. And then it's off to bed. And then we'll see what we can get into tomorrow with the video shoot. So I'll see you in the morning. After a good breakfast, it was time to hit the trail, which luckily was only a few miles away. Just down the way, you turn right on North River Road, and then that led us down the river to another turn where you go left this road doesn't really have a name, but hopefully the map helps. You go for ways on that, and if you go straight, it dead ends, but you turn right on this road that's labeled 434. And this is actually the, the actual trail portion, and it gets a little bit more difficult here. Um, nothing that a stock Jeep can't handle.
One of the things that I wanted to show is just how different a trail looks at night versus during the day. Hopefully, flipping back and forth from running the trail at night versus day won't be too crazy for you. By day, you have so many more senses. By night, you tend to utilize the shadows that are created. So the better the lights, the better the quality of the shadows. And this makes it a lot easier to determine the exact line that you want to take. shelves start out. You do need to be careful because you, you can bottom out on a stock Jeep or a Tacoma or whatever you've got. Once you're through that heavy section, it gets a little easier from there. Still bumpy, but nothing major. After that, it shifts into a little bit more of an evergreen type foliage. And you'll go through some small creek crossings. Uh, there's generally rock underneath the, the mud, and so you don't really, even if it's deep mud like this, you don't really have that much of a chance of getting stuck. I didn't have any problem at all. After that, you come out at the Cherhola Skyway. It really is a, it's only like a three and a half mile route, but it's a lot of fun and takes you to the Skyway where you've got a little bit of room to where you can air back up and head on and check out some of the nice views on the Cherhola. After that, I got back and kind of reviewed a lot of my footage from the previous night as well as that day. And then I prepped myself to go out again that night. Okay, this is completely random, but so as you can tell, I'm working on um, setting up all the lights uh, that I will be testing tonight. 
and so different combinations, things like that for Clearwater to show the difference in the different types of lights, whether they're driving lights, fog lights, etc. All right, so in order to do that, I have to lift my hood because I plug it all into the, into the battery. Check this out. Okay, so here's what's bizarre. I cleaned this out last night thinking that, you know, some rodent, mouse, whatever, back at the house had made a nest in there and sure enough, it was still there. No, no, it's here. Every night, he makes a new one. I guess the battery's warm or something. Anyway, I just thought that's funny. After cleaning out the unwelcome guest in my Jeep, I waited till it was around 10 o'clock where it was really dark, uh, and then I started doing all of my different light testing of all the different combinations. The next morning after four days, even the ice cold water was welcome to get cleaned up. I think it's a wrap to this video. I'll be heading out here shortly. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified when, um, when I release another video. And it won't be long, the weather's getting nice. Uh, my wife will be joining us too. And at that point, the food will probably get even better. So uh, please join us for, for what's coming up. And thanks for, thanks for watching.